Hi everybody, this is the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Libra for career. All right, so I'll go ahead and clear the air. So today I'll be reading from the Spirit Tarot, the Divine Energy Oracle, the Super Attractor cards, and the Kuan Yin Transmission. Let's get started. All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have Four of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Death card. All right, so let's get started. Libra. So Knight of Pentacles really signifies that you're taking charge in your life. You know, I think in the past there was a lot of procrastination and I think that that didn't sit well with you. Maybe you took time to do other things. Maybe you went and enjoyed your friends more often than you were thinking about career stuff or maybe if you're in school. So there is this energy around you that you really want success this time. You really want to push forward towards a better life, you know, and really making that life show up for you because you're doing all the things that you need to do in order for that to take place. All right. So the four of pentacles really signifies that you want everything. You want it all. I mean, you see this man, he's holding all the pentacles. He's like, no, I want everything. I don't want like a little bit of success. I want like all success. And so this is what he showed up in his, his best dress and he's holding all those pentacles because he's like, this is going to happen for me. I'm going to make this happen for me. I'm not going to wait around and be pessimistic anymore. I'm not going to be a procrastinator in my life. I'm going to go after what I really want and I'm going to make it happen. And I'm not going to be distracted by anything because I want everything. All right. Really good card there, Libra. So the next card is the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is like really perspiring or persevering to move forward, you know, really taking charge, really lighting your own fire, maybe pulling away some energy from the past that made you stagnant. And so this time around, you're like, no, I have initiative. This time I have ambition and I'm going to, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to get the goods. I'm going to make my life work in such a beautiful way. So what a great card, Libra. All right, so the next card is Seven of Pentacles. So I really feel like right now you're really putting things together. You know, you're formulating ideas because you want things to come to fruition. You are not, you know, being lax with your life right now. You're really pushing forward and you're like, the fruits of my labor are going to show up and I know it. So I think that you're really looking towards the future. You're really seeing success for yourself in the future in that regard. All right. So great. Yeah, because you want the happy ever after. You want everything. You want the love, success, money, and stability. You know, and you want a family because this is a happily ever after card. There is a family unit there. All right. So whether it be for male or female, you know, or, or even alternative lifestyle, like your, your life is going to look really good, Libra. I'm telling you right now, you are setting up shop and you're like, I will have it all because I see that in my future for myself. So really good. But again, here's the eight of swords and the eight of swords comes in and it really signifies that, you know, maybe, maybe you created your own hardship. Maybe you were the one that procrastinated and you didn't move forward. Maybe you thought you had all this time in the world to do things. And now you're like, I'm running out of time. I really need to get my life together. And so for me, this really signifies that on a bigger spectrum. You know, it's just not making any more hardship for yourself, you know, not making any blocks for yourself and really moving towards your greatest desires. All right. And so the five of pentacles is again, you know, this is signifying that there's so much to be had here. 
You know, there's so much to develop within your life. You know, even the stuff that you're formulating right now, well, you could just surpass that and gain even more just because you've gotten out of your way. All right, Libra? Yeah, and then there has to be a death. I think this is a death of the lazy self or the procrastinator, you know, or, or even the idea of, you know, I didn't do enough in the past or maybe I could have done better. And so this is a death of that energy. This is you persevering and saying, hey, look, I know that I can do better. I was slacking in the past. I wasn't taking myself seriously. And for that reason, you have to be in that space of the death of the ego. Okay. So that's what this card signifies. And I think that's great. You know, pull out the pessimism, pull out the procrastination because it really was the block in the past. All right, Libra. Okay. So let's go ahead and move to the divine energy Oracle cards here and see what's in store for Libra. All right. Love yourself. Yep, don't be so hard on yourself, Libra. You've got to love yourself through this whole process. And you can't be hard on yourself. And you can't go, gosh, I could have had more in my life. But if I wouldn't have been a procrastinator, I would have had more. Well, you are having exactly what is divinely guided to you in the right time. But you do have to love yourself. And you can't be hard on yourself about being, you know, being a procrastinator from the past. Okay? So you need to let that go. All right, Libra, it's just not going to, it's not going to be in alignment with you. All right. So the next card is accept disappointments gracefully. That's why I said, don't go back to the energy of the past. Don't think about your procrastination or thinking that, you know, you could have made it happen for yourself if you just would have done this. Well, no, you need to accept what happened was for maybe a reason that maybe you didn't anticipate. Maybe there was a lesson there that you needed to learn. And maybe that lesson was so valuable that you had to you had to learn that and be in acceptance and you know just go through it gracefully. There's no need to beat yourself up. You're all good. All right, Libra. Okay, so make necessary sacrifices. So again, this is really coming into play and saying, you know, in the past. There were some things that you didn't do that you could have done. Yes, but don't sit in that energy of shoulda, coulda, woulda. All right. So that's not even a good thing either. But really making the necessary sacrifices, maybe being more diligent, maybe waking up early and maybe in the past you slept in, you know, just making the necessary sacrifices so that, you know, you can really see the bigger picture and those things can start to show up for you because you do have happy ever after coming. So make those sacrifices. I think that they're going to benefit you in the long run. All right, shine your light. Ooh, I love Libras because they always shine their light. They're great communicators. And this time around, communicate your truth. Tell, you know, tell the people in your life or friends or family, like, hey, I, I really slacked in the past. I really need help. I need you to help me or maybe, you know, be an accountability partner and, and hold my feet to the fire when, when I start to slack or if I tend to go back into that old energy. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to the super attractor cards here, Libra. All right, here we go. Woo, look at this. Manifesting is a creative process of aligning with the energy of the universe to co-create an experience that elevates my spirit and the spirit of the world. Yeah, there you go. So shining your light bright enough for the world to see and knowing that you can do better, Libra. It's okay if you didn't in the past. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Maybe you did have to try something different. Maybe you had to manifest in a different kind of way. But you really needed to be clear about that for yourself. So that's why you really need to love yourself. So you can manifest those things. Look at this. Oh, another manifestation card. Whoa. True manifestations are powered by service and love. So yeah, loving yourself, loving others, really, you know, helping others in the process, maybe gaining help from others because of that service. So that's a really good one there. All right, Libra, one more from the Super Attractor cards. When I'm in tune with the energy of, of abundance, I become abundant. Woo, there you go. So yeah, you are, you are, you're doing better for yourself. You got abundance coming. You've got uh, happily ever after coming. You know, there's a lot of great things coming in your life, you know. So just know that you're very abundant. You're an abundant energy. 
All right, so let's go ahead and pull some Kuan Yin transmission cards. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so be gentle. Here we go. Look at this. All right, I am powerful enough to be gentle. You have my wisdom within your heart. When you are gentle with yourself, you allow me to love you. Be kind. You deserve compassion. So yes, love yourself, Libra. It's okay. Be gentle. Don't be so hard on yourself. Great things are coming. All right. Okay, so let's pull one more card here. <laughs> Boy, you guys are getting really good cards tonight. Okay, so progress. With your every step, I am empowered to take 10,000 steps. Your progress belongs to and benefits all beings. Take your journey knowing that I and all beings are with you. So yes, like I said, you have people that are coming in to help you. Maybe be your accountability partner, really allow you to not be a procrastinator and really say, hey, look, I think you're slacking, you know, and I don't think it's going to be like it was in the past. I really believe that you guys are going to do a lot better on that spectrum because you are starting to love yourself and you are, you know, being nice to yourself for a change and not beating yourself up, Libra, because that's a big thing sometimes with Libra. All right. So thank you for so much for allowing me to do your career reading, Libra. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please make sure that you hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when my new videos do come out and you'll be the first to see them. If you'd like to book a reading with me or donate to my channel, there's all the information in the description box below. And I love you guys. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions about my readings. And again, namaste.